Another viewer question. Yay! So I've got another question about Aeoniums. And there's no way I can pronounce this name. I don't even know how to read it. Anyway, this person wrote, I love your videos. Very helpful. Smiley face. I have a question. I have a bush of Aeonium. My question is, do I need to stop watering the plants completely during their dormant period from April to October? Thanks. Keep up the good work. You know, that's a pretty good question. It's something that people overlook most of the time, which is why uh, which is why people are having problems with Aeoniums, in the, especially in the tropics. So let me go through it. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you would probably know what my answer is. But I think, but I think you deserve having me walk you through it. So here it goes. When the Aeonius are dormant, they tightly close up, protecting the center of the rosette from the sun like so. But otherwise, if you have them in a shade like this ones, they won't be as close tight. It's mainly because of the difference in microclimates that they're receiving. I usually mention about not watering your aeoniums when they are dormant, but that doesn't mean that they would not appreciate a bit of water, a bit of sip every now and then. The reason I say that I don't give them any water at all is because as you can see, as you can see they are exposed to the elements. There's no there's no roof above them. Access they still have access to rainwater. So right now they get their moisture from rainwater as well as humid days. So humidity and rainwater. Now these clumps are at the front and as you can see there's absolutely no protection over them. They are fully exposed to the elements. This means that they are exposed to the sun the whole day and during the rainy days they would get the full brunt of the rain. This is why I don't even bother watering them anymore. Because nature is doing my job for me. But if you have your plants in the shade or have some roof on top denying them the rain, then it's alright to water them once in a while. Just make sure not to overdo it because as you know, succulents store water in their stems and in their leaves. And if they get too much water, they're going to shed their leaves completely and they just end up being these twigs. And by then, if you still overdo your watering, then the stem would turn mushy. So with Aeoniums, it's best just to let them tell you when they need water. Once you see them going a bit wrinkly, then yeah, start watering. Otherwise, just leave them alone, I guess. So when in doubt, just don't water them. But when they are showing signs of dehydration, then just do it. Very good question, by the way. Thank you. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.